the traditional hell, some people say, does not create a clash between justice and love. Um, because God is love, God is also has to have justice, and therefore it's just making people suffer in eternal hell forever and ever. But I think think in my perspective and others who work in my area think that it really does clash because love tempers our sense of retributive justice. And so we seem to be geared into the concept of retributive justice and thinking that's God's justice. But when I did a study of justice in scripture and pulled out every single word in the Hebrew and the Greek for justice, and then pulled out all of those verses from those, God's justice, I realized that if it's God's justice, it's a justice that's redemptive, that's restorative. It's a kind of justice where we love our enemies, um, where we take care of widows and orphans, where we do compassion. Um, it's, an, it's action, and it's action done in love. And so, that love also that is just because it's taking care of those who are oppressed and abused and um, lesser than others that love itself then leads us to a life of taking care of others being nonviolent, being uh, living in love and compassion seeking to restore rather than to condemn um, rather than some sort of retributive action and since that's true of God, we see in Scripture, we also see then that God desires all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. That God's not slow about his promises as some count slowness, but is patient towards us, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. And so you have these verses in Scripture where retributive justice doesn't carry through in the realm of God. It's restorative justice that always seeks to redeem, even to the point of redeeming all people. And so love and justice in that sense really work together, and that does not include the retributional fires of hell for all eternity.